Tatiana Mann. I'm from St. Petersburg, Russia, and uh, I'm a mezzo soprano, and I live in Dubai. his work on YouTube. My friend showed me his work on YouTube and it was, uh, uh, it was a video of an opera singer singing in German and he was playing piano. It was very minimal, very beautiful song and um, I don't speak German but, uh, but I could just feel the emotion of this music and I just I was thinking um, that I can connect Immediately, I just like I want to I want to work with Julian. Like this is just beautiful, so beautiful, and and I feel his music. And um, so yeah, we just got in touch and decided to work on the album together. And I just I knew it's going to be amazing. I knew I, I'm going to love his work and uh, his compositions. And, yeah, it just just happened very really naturally, and uh, just started working. <coughs> and um, yeah, that's it. That's how we met. I can relate myself to, to any song. I can relate myself to every song. Um, it's, um, it's, about, it's about emotions, it's about, it's about experiences that probably everyone has in their life. Um, and I mean, this album, it's, uh, it's a journey from the first, through the first song to the last. It's, it's, a, it's a story, it's, it's a journey. Um, everyone in their life experienced loneliness, uh, experienced a loss, experience a love, or experience regret. And I can deeply connect to the lyrics of each song because it's, it's something that I definitely experienced in my life. And I can see people that I know and, and I can feel this pain or you know those emotions and, you know it's it's just it's just real. So it took us about three months since I received the first uh, music and I started to practice and to have rehearsals and I had Zoom rehearsals with Julian over Zoom and I was started I started to record myself and just to you know to get into music and to get into lyrics to understand you know to get it to get into the song like more deep and you know to feel it and to get used to it and to, yeah, it's, I guess it's a rehearsal, right? Yeah, so three months, I guess, yeah. But I recorded so many times. <laughs> I 
think uh, I wrote uh, Los Poemas de Bar around 2009-2010. It uh, was a, a very excited moment in my life because that was the time when I when I moved to New York, so everything was new. Um, and I used to, to spend a lot of time in the, in the bars, uh, coffee shops, uh, the park, uh, walking around, feeling the city, the energy. So, uh, yeah, and I remember the bar. There was this small, small, cozy bar in the corner. The bartender was very nice. Um, actually, we became friends after you know some time, and I spent uh, a lot of Friday nights there. So um, you know, in this kind of uh, neighborhood uh, bars, um, these are the the kind of stories you are listening to. You know, like uh, stories stories of the everyday life, your past, my past, our present, the life. very special and um, I think I, 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 I like uh, very much to say that when that, that, that curiosity uh, it's uh, very important in the, in the musicians um, it's crucial and I think uh, and I think uh, Yana has a lot of it so so these poems uh, are simple but in the same way they are deep and they could be a little tricky so uh, you know but you know it has a lot of skills also she is a very good pianist uh, she accompanies herself at the piano and she has the maturity to understand the, the these feelings you know and so it was uh, a very organic process. We have uh, the connection from the beginning and I think uh, that is very important. 